In this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up your server. Now, I'm going to show you using a cPanel server because that's what I'm using. So, go down to your file section, and if you're not using this same layout, your, your backups may show on a different area. But what you're looking for here are backups and backup wizard. Let's go to the backup wizard. Now, here you can do a backup of the home directory, SQL databases, email forwarders, and email filters. And then over here, this is where you restore those. These are on a partial backup basis. You can't actually restore, using the cPanel anyway, a full backup. Okay, so let's click on backup. Now here is where you can decide whether you want to do a full backup or a partial backup. If you're going to do a partial backup, this is where you do it. You, you got your home directory. It'll back up everything in the home directory. There's SQL databases and your email forwarder. So you can create a backup of each of these. Or over here, you can do a full backup. So if you click on full backup, it comes up here and it asks you where you want the full backup to go. You have your home directory, so it'll back it up onto your server's home directory. You can send it to a remote S FTP server you have an FTP server out there and you can download a secure copy. Now again this is only really for if you're going to be moving it to another server because you can't do it through this interface. Now if you're comfortable with it you can download this file expand it on your desktop in the zip format and then you'd be able to restore things on a manual basis using an FTP program. It's a little out of our scope here so what we're going to do we're going to go select a partial backup. So let's do home directory. And then we can download a home directory backup. So if we click on this, it creates a tar.gz file that we can backup. And so all we do is, of course, just save the file into a folder. Now this is really large, so I'm not going to do this one. But you get the idea. So let's just go back here. Let's do a MySQL databases. These are the databases here. Now I can just pick one that I want to download. So let's assume I want to download this first one. So all I'll do is click on it. And then here it is in .gz format. Now what I can do is download it to my computer, to my desktop here, wherever I want. I have a backup folder I've already created. So I'll just save it here. And that's it. So I just go through and back up each of my databases that I wanted to back up. If you have email forwarders and filters, you can download those here. So that's how you can download a partial backup. Now, like I said, a full backup, it'll just create it in the, in the root directory for you, in the home directory. And then when it's done, it'll notify you that it's done. And you'd be able to download your full backup from in here. If you go back to full backup again, it would have your previous backups available for download right up here. So you'll be able to download it right from here. Okay, so let's have a look at our backup directory. Here's the file. Now, I have 7-zip. You can download 7-zip for free, and you can have a look at the archive. Okay, so here's the what's inside there. And then if we open this, we can see the data that's in here. Okay, so we know that we have a good backup there. Now, if you need to restore a backup, you can go back to Backup Restore here. And then over to where it says Restore. And then you pick what you're going to restore. So, MySQL database. You then browse for the file that you just downloaded. Okay, and then you would pick it here. I'm not actually going to do this, but you would pick it there, click Upload, and then it would restore it for you. Okay, so that's how you can backup and restore files on your server.